glasses actually work well because I always had a problem with the the backlight for the camera it always hurt my eyes. But yeah, I'm gonna start rocking these now. Sounds like a good idea. I feel a bit unfair because almost every time there's been me in a fight, it's because mm -hmm. it, we always have reused stage. I feel bad about that. It won't be a random stage. I still gotta. I gotta work on the settings to see why that is. I do like the music though. I swear I'm a big fan of all these fighting game musics. But I still wish if I had the budget to do so, if I had the means to bring back Bloody Roar. That would be a big deal. Oh my god. Bloody Roar. It's like the only time it actually came back was in digital form on the PS3. And they only did the first two games. They should bring them back all. They should be like a collector's HD version. Let me ask you something. Yo, are they still available on the PS3? I, I mean, for purchase, I don't know. But if I hook up my PS3, I can still download them since I purchased them. Yeah, yeah. I know some things have gone off the store, and I'm I'm so sure that's also the case with Tekken 1. But if I were able to get Bloody War 1 and 2 on the PS3, that would be a beautiful thing, actually. You should be able to, because... I still downloaded the, um, because on my PS Vita, I have the copies of Bloody Roar 1 and 2. I, I don't know if they, I don't know if they stopped the store or not. No, the store is still up. It so all that means... went away, but they walked, th they walked that back. Yeah, so it might be still available. I would say definitely looking. Yeah, I should look into that. We probably could get a match. I mean, technically, I could have us have a match anyway, because I could hook up Parsec and we could play it. Okay. Because apparently I don't have a plug that's open, so I have to, like, jerry rig a setup so I can go with that. Ooh, you got a MacGyver setup. That's right. Okay, we're good. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Begin hold. Nice, nice. Oh, had you heard talks about possibly another Matrix movie? Yes, I have. I'm kind of worried about it because the last I... one didn't do too well. The last one didn't do too well, so I'm kind of worried about it. I still haven't yeah. seen it. I mean, if you want to see it. Watch once. You can watch it once. Feels like a midlife okay. crisis movie. Okay, I was going to say, what was wrong with it? It was... It felt like a bad, like, modern art movie where it was very eccentric. And like I said, Midlife Crisis, like, Neo was just a game designer, and he was just going through some shit with therapy. And... The Matrix itself was a video game in the way Neo was perceiving it this time. Yes, exactly. So, they and kept it... Smith was his partner. Yeah. And they kept the canon from the M old MMO RPG where, you know, Morpheus got killed. I was so. gonna wonder about that part. I wonder if that was lifted from the Matrix Online, but I did see that. I missed that game so much. I played it religiously and I was the reason why we had a war with the Mao of Engine crew of people. So they said something because we because this was during the time when Morpheus in a cutscene they showed us he got killed by a mysterious stranger. We didn't know who did it. But we were going around trying to ask answers. I'm fighting for Zion. And you know, somebody on the Merovingian side said something really shady. So I ended up punching him in the face. And that started the whole civil war. We jumping oh, over buildings. I'm doing my gun kata. And my clan leader at the time was like, why? Why couldn't you have pain? It was like, he opened up his mouth. I wasn't going to let that slide. <laughs> so that's hey, Morpheus, the... Morpheus did a lot for Zion. Exactly. So why are you going to come out your face during a meeting where we're trying to find out what went down? But nah, you had to say something. Just to start some mess. But that was the role play that we was playing. So it's like, yeah, I started the Civil War, but it was whatever. Didn't open up his mouth. <laughs> It's to crazy me. that 
It's crazy that Enter the Matrix was part of the canon as well. It, it was. shows some things happening concurrently with the Matrix Reloaded, and it's a little of revolution, just a little bit. See, that was the beauty part. Sega did a great job with that game. They was the original developers, or well, publishers for the Matrix Online. And it was so beautiful and fun, especially when you went into uh, an area that you didn't belong. Uh, Neo Smiths would come after you. Because that Neo was the whole... Neo Smiths, what set them apart? Uh, they was just pretty much clones of Neo. And it was agents. Like, sorry, I'm sorry, Agent Neos. So it was clones of Neo, because we're still trying to figure, at this point, we were trying to figure out why they, why the machine still got his body, what they're doing with the body, and why they don't give it back to him. And when you go into an area that you don't belong, Neo Smith, Neo agents will come after you. Agent and it was, Neo was definitely a scary thought. It was, because there was no way of fighting him. It was like, it was just like the bee's knees. It was like it's Heck, it wasn't just that, just the fact that the one had been cloned and instead was enforcing the status quo. That's the scary part. Exactly. It was like, uh, bro, uh, um, it was like if a game truck was sent to you. That's how bad it was. That's pretty bad. Exactly. Sentient game shark. So I remember when me and my buddy was in the wrong area and we just had to go. Oh, we had to run. We just had to get out of town. I had four on my ad, but luckily my character was leveled up enough where I'm just like jumping up like 18 story buildings trying to get out of the zone. But he took a wrong well, yeah, turn. We're in the PC gaming at the time, right? Would have considered playing that probably. Oh, you would have loved it. It was great. I forgot I still need to do that Final Fantasy 16 crossover and Final Fantasy 14. You know, and I, think... I probably, oh, I'm sorry, I probably also have to worry about the Yokai Watch event returning at the same time. Oh, they did a Yokai Watch on um, crossover. They did at least twice, and I think it's going to be a third time now. That's pretty cool. Pretty interesting for sure. Oh yeah, I didn't mean to ask you, Goldfish, because that's my feature. I noticed that there was something weird because. He kept her, her freaking mid lane just like ridiculous. She was making it patterns. Felt like she was leveling. Felt like she was leveling out the field where everything was going even, but she did make some lines of stuff. Yeah, that's all like yeah, tripping out on. Yeah, there's a light on the vertical. Yeah. She was making nice like patterns said, too. I was like, holy crap. Yeah, like I said, it's just like a lot of basic techniques that were like. Kind of to help wrap your brain around, uh, I guess, like combos and stuff like that. It's a really good technique.